right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Pohang, South Korea, presenting the challenger, the executioner. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Give some bell for Mike. Thank you, sir, for all time. We'll be in my hand all time. If you want to do something, we'll be in my hand all time. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Lee. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did. 
did so there. And he landed the right hand there. Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Goes upstairs for an elbow. What a display of mixed martial arts there, DC. A beautiful combination ultimately to set up the table. Deception. Deception is the key to the game, and he was very deceptive in his right to the top to set up his takedown down low. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get drawn upon the the mat or if you're going to give your backup, where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Trying to get the knees going. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Double leg here. Oh, nicely done as he gets the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, you saw us reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, big punch land. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Try to establish that jab. Beautiful leg kick thrown. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Missed with that attempt. Oh, that's a good right wow. hand. Wow, actually got the takedown. Uh, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, he's got his back now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Five minutes in the books. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Big punch land. Ooh. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, yeah, right hand. Started 
could do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right. Oh, nice elbow. Well, missed on that one. Spinning back fist. Commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Great upper body movement defensively slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent, not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Single collar tie now. Lands with the right hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab is going to so well. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape his very, very dangerous position. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, collar tie. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Not there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh man, that could have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Just a slip there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. That jab is fast. Get that jab. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And that's the end of round number two. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action 
when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Defense there, huge block. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Missed with that right hand. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single power tie. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays. And that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Under three minutes to go in our third round. Both fighters get up now. Head kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, what a punch. Beautiful body kick. Back and forth we go. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Landed a good uppercut there. Oh! Slips the shot. Oh, straight right! Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Nice. Huge block there. Oh, Superman punch. Misses with the right hand. Sneaky head kick. Nice slip to avoid the left. Single collar tie now. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Double leg kicked out attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Slips. Oh, there's an effective counter with a straight punch. And again, he's got the reach advantage that has certainly helped him manage distance here tonight. 20 seconds left. Good punch, Lance. 
right there, his opponent's wobble champ. Oh, man. This dude needs to grab. He needs to rest. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. What a fight so far. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Straight right, he misses. Beautiful straight counter. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Beautiful punch. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. And they separate. Flush right hand is true. Oh, spinning back fist. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Ooh, what a punch. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Watching the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit. On point. Got the single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful legs. Punch over the top. And under three minutes now to go in the round. Spinning back fist. Collar tie here. Lance flush with that right hand. He's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, side control now. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Nice punch there by Lee. Left hook landed on the button. Oh, big diving punch to the head. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger 
as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. And they separate. Wow. Big kick land. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. You don't really stand. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. Fifth and final round. Good stick. Oh, beautiful counter on the jab after blocking the strike. Nice job turning defense into offense. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt. Oh. oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Wow! Oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. No good. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Nice hammer fist. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. And he's in. Oh! movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Back to the feet. Whoa! He's out! It's over! It's over! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine is called to stop for this contest at two minutes, six seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.